Hey everyone, just a few quick things to remind you from uh, the lesson today. Um, so we're gonna create a new project and Xcode, even on the iMac, is being a little bit slow. Here we go. Uh, so single view application, this is what you're gonna need for your assignment. Give it a name, profile is what I recommend. Um, and have whatever you want as the organization name and organization identifier. Then make sure you save it off somewhere. Now, quickly before I do all this, uh, what I'm going to do is if you are going to have, um, when you use the GitHub Mac client, you'll have a folder somewhere on your desktop or wherever you clone from when you're using it. Make sure that it's in there. So it'll be a folder that, if you use the naming convention, looks like GA, Mob, Jack, Watson, Hamblin. So you'll have a folder like that. Try to keep all of your work related to this course in that folder, so that way we can keep track of it. Preferably, you'll even add things like week one, and then day two, because it's the second day of the course, it's not actually you know, it's it's Thursday, so it's day four, but day two. But I'll create it in here, and now I'll have it. So this is the folder that you will have managed by, um, it'll be the folder that you have managed by the GitHub client. Anyway, so I'm going to click quickly bump this up. Um, so quick reminders of how to use all this stuff. So we have a screen right? That is backed by a view controller. The code that you will need in this view controller is at IB action func, short for function, unwind segue, or basically that name can be whatever you want, but the important bit is segue UI storyboard segue, and then the curly braces. And you just need nothing in there. It can be totally empty in between those curly braces. Now, in the storyboard, quick reminders. You will need the whole second view controller stuff. Um, you also need to do the embed in, that's editor, embed in. It helps if I actually have it selected. Make sure you select it first. Editor embed in navigation controller that will bring this up then that means you can add in all the titles and stuff so you can say my profile make sure you create that view and everything like you uh, like we did in class um, you can add in new view controllers so if I chuck one over here and space it out a little bit better um, I can have that button. I can have my goals button. So that would be something like goals or info. Drag over to that. That's the show segue. Awesome. Now we have that. The other one was the show modally, uh, sorry, the modal, I forget the exact word. Um, but anyway, goals, again, another view controller. I'll place it below it. And if I click and drag to that, we will get the present modally. That will create the connection there. Remember, you will need a navigation controller for that. So again, editor embed in navigation controller and that will add that in and now you can have something like my goals try and keep these a little bit organized it'll make it easier for yourself and there we go that was creating all of the connections um, and so if I run this I'll be able to navigate between the three of these um, now, the last bit was the bar button item. So remember, bar button, chuck it in here, and then 
Remember, don't go and change the text to done. That's the wrong way to do it. Instead, head up to the attributes inspector and change the identifier to done. And that will change it. And then, because I added that code in the view controller, I can click and drag to exit and the unwind segue will come up and we're good to go. Now that was a very quick review of everything we did today um, in terms of the whole navigation controller stuff um, and presenting modally and segues, all that sort of good stuff. Um, also remember to practice all your constraints. Please don't forget the exit ticket. That exit ticket's really important for us. Um, hope you enjoyed this. I will see you guys all on Tuesday.